So this launcher has a lot of benefits over the first iteration. Uh, for one, the valve stem is on a threaded plug. So uh, whenever we sent them to an air show, then a lot of the valve stems got broke off from people stepping on them or something because they were on the edge of uh, the pipe. So if someone just set it down wrong, uh, then it could break it off. But now it is inside and protected and also used a metal one that um, actually uses a nut to screw into the thread. So it's on there very securely and if someone does break it off, we can take this plug off, replace it uh, with some other kind of connector. So uh, if that breaks, we don't have to replace the entire frame. Um, the other thing was that uh, some people uh, broke the threads off of these parts here because there's a part that came out of the sprinkler valve too far and uh, there was just a longer lever to uh, create more force against the threads here. So now it's a lot shorter, a lot closer to the frame, and it goes into a T connector here um, and it's threaded uh, with a Schedule 80 nipple, so it'd be very hard to break that. And um, that is the weak point here in between the frame and this. So if something does break, we wouldn't have to scrap the frame, we would just have to get the threads out of the frame. But um, overall, it wouldn't be a deal breaker. But that's also why I designed the frame as a rectangle, um, because it protects all of the parts. So if anything drops, or uh, if you let it fall somewhere, or if you're just shipping it in transportation, it's a lot better protected. Uh, the only thing that really sticks up is the solenoid here, and you can bend that out of the way um, if you're shipping it. Um, but yeah, so having it as a rectangle makes it a lot sturdier um, overall. So uh, the other thing was that uh, this um, street elbow comes straight out of the sprinkler valve, so there's not a further lever um, for them but it also maintains the ability to uh, rotate back and forth so you can aim the rocket if you want to. Um, that was something that some of the people wanted to do. Uh, so they still have that ability, whereas with version two, uh, they did not, the sprinkler valve just came straight up and out. Now, the only other um, issue with this frame that I found would be uh, this valve here breaking off um, at the threads into the frame, and it could put stress onto the frame. So I made this 3D printed um, support bracket to uh, go in between the street elbow and the uh, sprinkler valve, and it's supported by the frame tubes. So now you can push on this all day, and there is no flex at all. So. The only thing that flexes is a little bit of the street elbow. And again, if that breaks, it's a very easy part to replace, and it's not under constant pressure. Um, so overall, it's not too big of a deal if something like that um, is weakened over time. Um, but also with this frame, it's easier to make this uh, like t launch tube and launch button holder. Um, so that goes right on there, and now it's all one unit. So it's easier for everyone to transport and keeps everything as one unit.